I'm fortunate that I get to hang around a lot of smart people uh, in the sales world and also you know, talking to my customers I get the chance to talk to some people in, in the C level or even upper management and, and if they're there there's a chance that they are very smart and good at what they do so on a daily basis I get to uh, I get my fill of of learning in but one of the things that as you're committing yourself to lifelong learning that nobody really tells you is how long it took the teacher to get to that point. Uh, I remember looking at my dad and hearing him talk to a customer and I'd say, there's no way on earth I'm going to be that good. Same thing with Jeffrey. I, I still get it today when I go see a seminar of Jeffrey's uh, and someone comes up and talks to me and says, what? You know, I'm not really sure how I'm going to be as good as Jeffrey. It just seems like Jeffrey's a natural. And, and that's not the case. Uh, the great ones studied their craft, they studied their profession, and, and they really increased their skill sets. And I think that's a key that no one really tells you because the other thing is, you know, chances are if you're in sales, you're a smart person, you're friendly, you've got the gift of gab, and you've seen great salespeople, even if it's in your company or uh, through videos or books, you recognize what great salespeople are. And as you're maybe not quite there yet, you get frustrated because you're trying and you know the quality of the person you should be, but there's a gap between where you are and where you can be. And the only way to kind of fill that gap is to keep practicing it. I remember when the first time I, I really grasped on the idea that questions were probably, or the ability to ask someone a, a really powerful question was the biggest tool in my sales arsenal. But what was happening was I was really trying hard to create these powerful questions and I'd ask a customer one and they'd say something along the lines of, well, uh, I don't really know what you're asking me, Tony. And I'd just go, whew, that, that's not a good question when you get that kind of answer. So uh, over time, what I had to end up doing was developing these really powerful questions that were starting to get the good response and then I'd write it down and keep it. But it took me almost personally, six months to a year to get that list. And, and so the I knew where I needed to be. I was getting frustrated because I wasn't there. So if I had any bit of advice as, you, as you're as starting to hopefully take on uh, the sense that you need to study your craft on a daily or weekly basis, is it takes time. It's not gonna be great at first. It's gonna be getting better in the middle. But there will be a point where you, you kind of turn the corner and say, ah, I finally got it. And then at that point, you still study it and you can still learn stuff, but it's second nature. Uh, it, it allows you to be confident. And when you're talking to someone over the phone or in person, you feel like nothing can surprise you. And when you when you turn that corner, uh, you you have the ability to then make uh, good impressions on people, have very fluid conversations. Then you're at the point that you see a lot of your great salespeople at. So. Don't get frustrated, it takes time. Uh, thank you for stopping by the Sales Rockstar. Uh, again, I will see you next month.